Hey there guys, it is JR and welcome to the actual camper or tiny home gaming setup. Uh, I haven't really any videos with a setup like this in a camper or a tiny home or anything. So today I'm going to be going through this setup and completely revamping it, cleaning it, redoing my cable management, um, switching this desk out for an old uh, butcher block style desk that I built whenever I still lived with my parents. Um, we're mounting a 42 inch TV up there in that hole where that cabinet is. Um, we might hook up some consoles. I haven't decided about that yet. Um, I'm, I haven't touched a console in forever since I got this PC. But I um, might hook that up just to play a couple exclusives. Um, so yeah guys, uh, we're going to be switching this desk out for that butcher block. Um, I'm going to cut it down and actually lower this desk down a little bit because this desk is a little bit too high for this chair and just the way I like to sit uh, most of the time I'm kind of floating my elbows instead of having them sitting on my armrest with my hands going onto my desk it, it, it's kind of uncomfortable not the end of the world but uh, I do want this to be about an inch lower down um, we're going to be moving these monitors forward because they're a little too far away I have a hard time seeing things sometimes and I just want them to be farther forward uh, like I said, we're mounting uh, that huge TV back there, up here, because I do like to consume anime and movies and just any kind of entertainment in general. I want to have a nice big screen up there to watch things on, and I might even switch that 42 inch out for a bigger one if I can fit it, um, but we'll have to see how that fits. And uh, in this cabinet here, the reason why I have the door off is because to mount that TV, uh, obviously it needs to be mounted here, and it, it would probably be fine just to run a brace across this door, but that is an older TV, so it is kind of heavy. So I'm actually going to be building a whole brace setup going all the way back to the wall and out to here, and I'm going to be setting it in a little bit so that the thickness of that mount is accounted for so that this TV will sit flat against this cabinet, as flat as it can since there is this angle right here, it may not flip, sit perfectly flat but it'll flit, fit flat-ish. Um, so these right here are uh, mounting plates for these monitor arms. Um, I actually only have one of them because I got one of these arms years ago whenever I first got my first PC. Um, so I, I guess I lost it somewhere. I've moved twice since I got that arm and it's just, I, I might have left it at an old house or it might be mixed up in a shed somewhere, I don't know. Um, I'm getting my desk out of the shed, so I'll see if I can find it. Um, but I'll figure out some way to mount them to the desk. And then uh, we're also probably going to be drilling a hole, running these cables through. Uh, this cable right here is for that TV. I have been using it, uh, just setting it out here on this desk. Uh, just to make sure I actually wanted to do this. Um... And then we might even try to figure out a different place to put my VR headset to where this cable isn't strewn about. Um, so if you look at this, my cable management does look pretty decent um, other than this. And whenever you come back here, you can see it's actually quite a mess. So I'm going to be trying to clean that up quite a bit. Um, I'm going to be drilling a hole through here because this TV is going to be blocking this whole area. So I'm going to be able to run, there's a, another big mess of cables back behind this frame right here. And I'm going to be able to run some cables, have them spooled up here, have my amplifier for my mic and everything in here. Drill a hole here and have these cables and everything coming down through here and over to the PC. And I'm going to try to uh, mount all my cables together where they're in a really nice kind of line instead of being all bunched up and together and stuff. I don't know if I'm going to have enough zip ties to do that the way I want because these are all the zip ties I got left. But we're going to try it. Um, so yeah guys, I'm going to start with tearing this all out, um, getting it all cleaned up. Uh, my TV mount is actually supposed to arrive today so it's not actually here yet. So uh, I'm going <laughs> to be basically getting things ready for it. Um, yeah, guys, uh, I'm going to try to set this up for a time lapse. I don't know if I'll be able to really do it or not. But, uh, we're like I said, we're just going to take all the stuff apart, pull all the cables out, get them all organized, get everything to where it needs to be. And then I'm also going to take my PC and dust it out real nice. 
Um, I don't know why, but I have a huge problem with dust. Uh, if you guys know a way to combat this, comment down below because this is only about two weeks worth of dust in this PC, and you can see it is disgusting. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's my location or just the camper or what, but I have a huge problem with dust. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, let's go ahead and get started here, tearing things apart and uh, getting things cleaned up and reset. And by the time I'm done here, this sh like I said, the ultimate camper, tiny home, whatever you want to call it, uh, PC gaming setup. So yeah, let's get started. Right here is the desktop. Now, I did build this in high school, and I can tell because there's definitely some things I would do a bit differently. And something I had forgotten is I had a sound bar when I lived with my parents. There's two holes for the mouse and keyboard for the sound bar, and I'm bobbing part of this off, so that'll be interesting. See how I work around those holes. Yeah, we'll make it look good. It doesn't look awful. It just uh, has a bunch of tool marks and kind of not great looking parts in it, but I still think it looks pretty nice. I still love the color of it and I love the wood grain. I love this butcher block style countertop or desktop or whatever. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this cut down and We'll go ahead and start getting things mounted into the camper. Alright guys, so here's what we're working with, and luckily, I was able to reuse my mouse and keyboard holes, so it doesn't look quite as clean as it did before, because it was right here by the keyboard, so it just dumped straight off, but that looks pretty good, and it's going to be completely cableless, and I just hope my cables are long enough to reach up and around, and then I might actually have to drill another hole right here to pass my cables up there. So yeah, I'm going to start figuring out how to move my monitor arms forward, maybe start fishing down some RGB lights and stuff to go underneath of here and uh, start getting things cleaned up. Hopefully my uh, TV mount comes in soon. Oh, and you can see I moved the height of the top of the desk down about, about an inch and a half I think by the end of the day. And with my chair all the way up here, you can hear it. There's just a little bit of a rub on that side, not on this side. It's almost completely level. Uh, I think this side may be a little bit higher. But there's just the slightest bit of rub, but my god. Being able to rest my arm all the way through here makes this so much more comfortable. It's crazy. I, I didn't, I, I knew it'd be more comfortable, but I did not expect it to be this comfortable. So yeah, that's awesome. I love the height. So glad I decided to do that instead of just laying it back in there even. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, looks kind of cool, I guess. Kind of built-in feature. Kind of matches the side a little bit. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, I'll probably cut that down sometime in the future. Um, I'm going to renovate this whole place sooner or later. So something to keep in mind whenever I get to that. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start working on seeing how I can get my monitors mounted. And... Um, 
maybe go ahead and start doing some cable management while I'm waiting on my TV mount. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Here's the wide angle so you guys can see like the whole room. Just look at the presence this has. It's not even that big of a TV, it's a 42 inch, but as you can see, it's about the biggest I can fit. It's touching the ceiling up there and it's, I think it's gonna be just about touching the top of my monitor down here. So unless I could get like a 44 inch or something that was the same physical size but had thinner bezels. I think this is as big as it's getting. And I gotta say, it's pretty awesome. Definitely looking forward to watching anime or... I don't think I'm gonna be playing many games on it, but... Just having my friends over, all of us chilling over here on the couch that's covered in shit right now and... Having a big old screen to watch stuff on. And YouTube, of course. Yeah, this is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and get this setup finished back up, guys. Get it all put back together. Uh, start cleaning some of this mess up. I wish I would have moved my keyboard and stuff before I drilled all those holes. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna get fired up so that I can actually experience this because this is awesome. Yeah. All right, so this place is a huge mess now. <laughs> but here is the view of the cockpit. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. That screen looks massive. <laughs> Especially when I'm used to this screen and you know, I'm used to sitting about right here and then you just glance up and you just see this huge thing. Um, so yeah, I might try to conceal that cable there in the middle that's going up a little better other than that we're looking pretty much wireless uh, you can see the cable coming out of the PC just a little bit and you can see the speaker wires but neither of those are really a super big deal to me uh, wasn't able to clean up the back too much uh, that's a little bit nicer you can see I got display cables here and then some uh, power cables going there and there and uh, I got I got rid of my splitter that was in that strip so it's a little cleaner back there but not a whole lot better um yeah i'm pretty happy with uh with this now i have to find a wallpaper that will match this that's gonna be something else and uh 
<clears throat> I believe I already checked my mic. Oh yeah, looky there. Fits right in, right where it needs to go. Uh -huh. Yeah, so far everything's working. I'm pretty sure I got everything hooked back up right. Um, I'm loving that this is here so that I don't have the one cable going up that way. Um, and I think you can still get a little bit of light off of this. It's mostly shooting back behind there, but you can see kind of this workspace right here is where it's gonna hit. So, that'll still be nice to have. And the height of the desk is just, just perfect. And I just, I love it when something turns out the way I wanted it to, and I'm definitely pretty happy. And just check out the view of walking into this place now. You walk in, there's just this massive setup here. <laughs> yeah. Right, that's gonna do it for this video. I'll try to get a couple more shots after I get things cleaned up. Um, yeah, I'm pretty freaking tired. I actually feel like I did quite a bit today. And uh, I just wanna enjoy this awesome new setup. So. Yeah, I'm going to go through here and get things cleaned up, and uh, like I said, I'll get a few more shots, and other than that, uh, I will see you guys in the next video.